The 4th of July invokes a special feeling in a ballpark, and sometimes in a team spirit as well. Minor League Baseball is live and on the and air now, on the show. We've got baseball on the Colorado 4th of July Springs. between the Nashville Sox. Sounds and the Colorado Springs Sky Sox. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Benito Guerrero will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Flezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Into the box. Slugger. Leading He'll start Nashville. things out in the top the half of the second. Hitter. Slugger. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. If this second inning is any indication of what we're going to see, he's got this hitter 0-2. He really learned from his last outing when he lost. He is way more aggressive now, coming right after guys and throwing strikes. High in the air out to center field. Under it is new and heist, and he's got it for the first out. Okay, here's the defense for the home team, brought to you by Majestic. Well, this team is really going to be busy today. You look at how this pitcher's been struggling all season. All you got to do is look at that ERA. That tells me he's given up a lot of balls hit, and the defense is going to be very, very busy in this one. Digging in to try it again. Leading off Slugger. For He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Slugger. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch Whoa, here misses right wide, 1-0. That's Just two. missing here, 2-0. Oh. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. A high fastball is... I'm sorry, one moment, please.
in there. All even at two and two. Here it is. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The two two one more time. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Ready for another shot now. Slugger. Now he comes in 0 for 2 hurt. thus far. Slugger. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded to first. Played on the backhand. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now Josh batting. Fegley. Catch he it. singled in two trips Josh to the plate thus far. Fegley. A runner on first with two away. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, And that one ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits. No errors and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Sounds lead it three to nothing. Ready for another chance. Slugger. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Here's the first pitch chopped foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Huff has it, and the throw to first ends the inning. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Nashville's out on top, 4-1. to one. Ready once again, Slugger. Now He'll look batting. to bounce back after Designated striking hitter. out his last time up. Slugger. Now the pitch. Zero. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Bowers is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Nothing across here this half. Part of the order three four and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The sounds lead it six to one. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one the final. Daniel Mengden earns his first win of the season. Permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Keith Gilroy takes the rare three inning save. His first of the year. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Sounds. Six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left 13 men on base. MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Nashville Sounds and the Colorado Springs Sky Sox.
It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Number 28, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico will be the starter. Harold, what do you got? Matt, he's lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. Stepping in, Slugger. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Slugger. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. HR, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They've been mired in a team wide slump of late, as with the loss last time out, they've now dropped eight of their last nine decisions. Yeah, last game. It There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Ojeda looking up, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Third home run for him on the year, and that will break the seal early here. It's quickly one to nothing. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot as the result. Trying to pick things up where he left no off. Matter. Slugger. Designated he went there. deep in his first at bat. And we'll see what he's got in store for us here. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. And not in time as the run scores. Oh, ground ball up the middle. That's going to score a run right there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull a ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle, and it paid off. Digging in for his second at bat, Mark Canna. Now 0 batting. for 1 here in the, the early going. Franklin. Mark Canna. And there he goes towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Good steal there. And I'll tell you, he is a multi dimensional player out there. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Nashville's out on top, three to nothing. Slugger will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Weekly hit towards first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. In now, Slugger. He homed now, earlier and is two for three to this hitter. point. Slugger. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Hits are even at seven apiece. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2.
and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. And that one stayed too low apparently. We're in the 8th inning now of a 5 to 2 ball game. Hit sharply on the ground. And a good throw gets him one gone. Striding in once again. Slugger. He went Designated deep earlier Aaron. and he's two for four Slugger. to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Out of play. Two out, bases loaded. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. And this is fouled at the plate. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Here's the one and two delivery. And another foul ball. Here's another one two. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. One run is scored. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's an 8-2 game. Well, you're not always going to hit the good pitches. You hit the mistakes. And that one hung up there. A mistake. Nice piece of hitting. Digging in once again, Mark Canna. He was a ground out victim last time up. Mark Canna. From the belt, the pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Moving under it, Nelson makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So three runs on four hits here. No errors, and two men left stranded. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Sounds lead it eight to two. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. Eight to two tonight's final. Colby Madrano earns his fifth winner of the year. Oliver Montalvo hammers down the five out save his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Sound. Eight runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Sky Sox, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Nashville Sounds and the Colorado Springs Sky Sox. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Robert Becker will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. And he's just not given his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. 
stepping up to the plate. Batting Slugger. Third. It was a three-hit effort from him last Slugger. night, so he was a big part of that victory. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Neuenheis is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Digging in the switch hitter. Slugger comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. The wind up and the 0 1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. He'll take this in without much trouble and two are gone here to start the fourth. Now with the plate Slugger no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Slugger. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Now to the plate, Slugger. And with men on base and two away, it feels like it. this at bat could go a hurt. long way toward deciding Slugger. this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Sky Sox are in front here, two to nothing. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press, they just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Our Robert final line Becker score earns win number four on the season. George Riggs.
MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Memphis Redbirds and the Nashville Sounds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Buford Lund, a native of Jamaica, is the man to start on the mound in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's really struggled with runners in scoring position. Over 300 average coming into this start. So, to me, it's if he has traffic on the field, on the bases, can he pitch out of those jams? That will be the key that determines the fate of this game. Batting fourth. Digging in the switch hitter, hitter Slugger. Slugger. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Going back is the center fielder. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. Anaya rounds third and is digging for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Definitely a solid way to start the game offensively. It always feels great to jump out to a 1-0 lead in the first inning, but now they've got a chance to really set the tone. Two more runners in scoring position that they obviously don't want to leave out there. Into the box, Chad Pinder. He's been one of their big run producers this year, currently third on the team in RBIs. Pinder. Runners are at second and third with one down. Hit to third. Mulder comes up with it. Only play is going to be to first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. So stepping in, Josh Begley. Batting Not six. the shiniest of batting Backer. average as he comes Josh. in hitting down in the 220s Begley. for the year. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Runner breaks for third. Tapped out in front of home. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on one hit. No errors, and one man left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. Nashville's out on top. Two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where he now left batting. off. Slugger. Right. He'll try to follow up the double Slugger. in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Throw over to the bag oh, and a dive, but he's back in there. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. 
A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Fourth home run for him on the season as they move on top four to nothing. That was just a bad pitch. I didn't even power hit well, he that. Clearly did not miss that one. He got everything behind it, drove it out of the ballpark. I think he was just looking for that pitch and didn't miss it. Digging in and looking for more. Slugger already a home run and a double for him in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Ready once again, Chad Pinder. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Pinder. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hit to short. Hoskins takes it in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Ready for another shot now. now Slugger already a homer a and two doubles to his credit Slugger. thus far. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Ready for another chance? Chad Pinder over three with an RBI Touchdown. in this one. Chad Pinder. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch in the air out toward right field. Moving under it, Givens. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. So add one more on the sack fly as that'll make this a 5 to 1 game. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Striding in once again, Josh Fegley. Catcher. He's got a hit in Josh. three at bats to this Begley. point. The one and two pitch pulls this one in the air out to left. Presley has it in his tracks. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Sounds lead it 5-1. to one. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four outs saved. Job well done. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Buford Lund earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Lewis Jansen gets a four out save, his 23rd of the campaign. South. So that'll just Five about runs. do it. For Harold Eight Reynolds, hits. Dan Plezak, no and our entire Left crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB well, The right Show. For three more, don't forget to check hits. out the shownation.com. No 15 runners under.
Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Now on your home for minor league baseball, and, uh, MLB The Show has coverage from the Triple A Pacific uh, Coast League. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Memphis Redbirds and the Nashville Sounds. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Number 45 is on the mound for game two. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. And he's just not given his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Stepping in, Slugger. He was a perfect four for four in last night's game. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. HR, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matt, it's been a little bit of a struggle. One and three on the road trip. You never want to be in that position. But you try to pick up as many wins as you possibly can. That's why this game today is important. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Under it is the left fielder, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Digging in to try it again. Slugger comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. So now it's Mark Canna. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A runner on first with two away. Now a hard liner toward short. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Redbirds lead it one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Slugger. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Slugger. And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. So striding in, Mark Canna, no as he's got a Hurry, chance to tie run. this ball game up Mark. with that equalizing Canna. run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it, the left fielder. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So they pick up no runs on two hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. Seventh inning coming up. Memphis is out on top, one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Slugger. He's going to lead things the off in their half of the ninth Dedicated as they try to avoid the dreaded Slugger. shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. He pulls this one into right. Givens is there. First out here to start the ninth. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Well, that's why you pay the closer big money, so he can come slam the door quickly when he has to. 
Two pitches, one out, and that game's on ice. Well done. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Ronald Ibar earns the win his second, number 45. The saddle with the loss score, after giving up first, only one earned. Patrick Redbird, Romero hammers down the save, his 19th Torres, of the campaign. Left, so that's a wrap here base. tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching no MLB The Show. Minor League Baseball is live and on the and air on the show. Tonight, the rubber Nashville match of this three-game series between the Memphis Redbirds and the Nashville Sounds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Daniel Mengden, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he got his season off to a pretty good start. He got a win his last outing, his first outing of the year, and now he's going for number two. Let's see if he can back it up with back-to-back -back good performances. At the plate, Slugger. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Slugger. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. HR visitors here as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And Matt, you know, you look at their split right now, but they lost the first game one to second one. So you're looking at momentum is on their side. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards them here in this third game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Two out with the man at first. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Set to deal on two and two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. A shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Ready with another 2-2. And another pitch is hit foul as the battle continues here. Hard hit ball to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Now to the plate. Slugger. Leading off He's the 0 for inning. 1 thus far. Designated header. Slugger. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a soft liner down the line in right. Foul. The windup and the 0 1. High pop up. Hoskins is there for it. One out. <laughs> Stepping into the box. Slugger. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Slugger. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. The 0-1. Nope. And that oh. one stayed too low, apparently. Here's the one and one delivery. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through. A base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. 
Looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat here. Yeah, and I'm not sure I agree with it either. Most pitchers, like, when they're in a groove, they just want to get back on the bump and compete. Sometimes visits like these are just like a formality. Digging in once again, Chad Pender comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pender. He's set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. As a former pitcher, I can tell you nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. Now Striding in, B.J. Ramirez, DJ as he'll look to bring Ramirez. home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. 0-1 count and the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. One run scores. Two runs have scored. When this one left the bat, the pitcher was hoping and praying it would go foul, and I thought it might, but it ends up falling just inches inside the line, going for a double and driving in two. That was beautiful. At the plate, Slugger. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Slugger. Hit in the air to left field. Presley has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now with the plate, Slugger. He flew out in his last at bat. Slugger. First pitch on its way. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Another 0 2 home. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Ninth inning coming up, and we are all even at six apiece. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in ten innings. A tight one, seven to six, the final score tonight. The Memphis Redbirds wrap up their 20th Our road win of the score, season. Adrian the Avalos Redbirds. gets the win Seven in relief, his sixth of the hits. season. Patrick Fire. Romero.
Your attention, number eight please. is ready, and he'll take now the ball from the manager. Practice. Number eight. Fingers here is still at a junior or a double A level. Riding in once again, Alex Parker. And Dan, what's Leading gone wrong for this camp. lineup today? They're only three Second outs away baseline. from being shut out. Alex Boy, you know, Parker. I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. In there, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Misses with a curveball that made him move his feet. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. I like that. Show him the curveball and then try to sneak that low 90s fastball by him. It's going to look faster coming off those breaking pitches. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, Everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy now is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Ray Gilmore. Into the windup and the pitch. Ray Gilmore is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Faces are empty, one man out. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready on one and two. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up batter, without any seven. problem. Designated hitter, Randy Into Campos. the box now, Randy Campos. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Well, that was an awful late swing on a curveball. One of two things. He either didn't.
expected it. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Thunder claimed the victory despite being held to only three hits. Kurt Foreman earns his third win of the year in relief. Sam Rodriguez takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. Number eight closes the door for the save, his sixth. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious Thunder. One run on three hits, one error. They left no runner. An impressed pitching coach pays a visit to a young hurler who's been very sharp to start his pro career. Your number eight please. is on, and he'll take now, over on the mound the in relief. Number eight. Riding in once again, Sherman Warden. Three at bats for him in this Sherman, one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Now a throw over to first, back in standing. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. 
two out with the man at first. Hey. And he takes a cold strike one. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Boy, he is not seeing the ball at all. He's already got three strikeouts. If he's stri now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he tried to get a little cute right there. A little two-strike changeup. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. 5-2, the final score tonight. Napoleon Gutierrez earns win number four on the season, striking out 12 in the process. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score. First for the five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left one man on base. For the Sea Dogs, two runs, six hits, four errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening. And please drive home safely. After a brief trial move, this prospect is being returned to his original role. It's welcome news. A coach is sent to offer guidance on training for a specific position. Your attention, number eight please. takes the mound as he's Pitching been called the upon Thunder. to pitch. Number eight.
Ready for another chance. Johnny Bond. No Left hits fielder. in three tries so Johnny far. He struck Bond. out once. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. The yeah. knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. Well, that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. He wanted to spin the win right there. Off of it. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Kristen is there, and how about that? A three-pitch inning as the side is retired. One hit, one error in the inning, but they wind up leaving two. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth, and we still have no score. Here's Daniel Nava now. He'll lead, lead it off, off here as we begin seven. inning number seven. First baseman number 25, Daniel Nava. First pitch of the at bat. Zero. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Swing and a miss as he's just behind the breaking ball. Well, that was an awful late swing on a curveball. One of two things. He either didn't pick it up or he was sitting curveball and had his mind made up that he was going to swing and the break broke before he expected it. That's a Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Another 1 2 delivery. And he got him. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, Getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. The so batter, that was a big out. The designated hitter, Mario Digging in to try Carmona. it again. Mario Carmona. Lays no. off 1-0. and Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Now that's a nice piece of hitting. That's going to get him to the big leagues someday. Taking the ball the opposite field. You're going to have to hit to all fields if you want to be effective in the majors. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. now. Batting. Right fielder. In now. Paul, Paul Switzer. Switzer. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-0 pitch. Ball. And that one stayed too low, apparently. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Runner at first here, one man out. Zero. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it two and one. To two and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now another two two. And another foul ball. The two two one more time. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Ready for another shot now. 
Jose Cora. Shortstop. Jose Cora. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. A runner on first with two away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Two out lightning. Here they come. This team never stops. Now they've got the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first base. And all this with two outs. Can they come up with another big hit with two? Let's see right here. Into the box, Johnny Yang, Johnny as he will take strike Yang. one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. He's falling behind right now after that swing right there. Now he's 0-2. And 0-2, choke up a little bit and try to put the ball in play. You just got to be in battle. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Thunder are on top, one to nothing. Brooke Cahill has been summoned now, from the bullpen as he'll thunder, do so to start the eighth. 22, Brooke Cahill. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one and nothing final the final. Trenton First earned the win, the although in sloppy thunder. fashion with four errors hits. in the field. Number eight earns his third win of the there. year in relief. Jake Thompson. A fast developing young player has gotten the attention of the higher ups in management. Prospects may not realize how closely they are being watched and by other organizations as well as their own.
look from downtown San Diego and Petco Park. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. These two will have a likely impact in this series. Game one is next. Dan West gets the start for San Diego in this one. HR, what's the word on him? 19 losses, Matt. That's what he had last year. <laughs> it's hard to even look at it or even say it. So I know he struggled through the winter. But that motivates you. He had to work hard, get himself ready, and I'm hoping the lessons he learned through the 19 losses will see be a difference maker for this season for him. Patrick Sparky. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Harold, this Padres team as they take the field here tonight, they come in hoping not to fall too deep into an early season hole as they're just one and five to start the new campaign. Matt, this is an interesting club. I mean, they've been on a little bit of a losing streak. I know they won the last game, but I got to look at the overall body of work. They've just been struggling. And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Catcher Derek Norris is in. He's ready for his Patrick. first at bat of this Derek early season contest. Norris. Here comes the first pitch. That's a the ball. fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Well, Matt, their theme song, I heard it in the clubhouse. On the road again? Yeah, they are. I mean, it was a short home stand, and now they're back out there once again playing game one on the road. They may as well not unpack their bags. This is a tough trip again. On 2-0, and oh, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three. Three and O. Oh. Three runs already home here. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Ready for another chance. Matt Kemp. He singled and scored in his first Matt appearance in this one. Kemp. First pitch on its way. Swing and a line drive. Now a throw over to first and the runner back. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Runners on first with one down. And another foul ball. Here's another one two. Liner towards second to second for one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired four to six to three they roll it up to get out of the jam back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Digging in for his second at bat Derek the Norris catcher, he drew a three. base on balls Derek his first time up. Norris. Now a 
hard liner toward short. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Well, they pick something up. They're just ambushing him. First pitch swinging, aggressive, and their scoring runs is paying off for him. Digging in to try it again. Sparky comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into the windup and the pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Boy, that fastball in right there really makes him conscious of the inside pitch and starts cheating. Now you set up to throw something away if you elect to do that. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Goes is under it. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready for another shot now. Lucas oh, Duda comes in one for two with Lucas. that home run he hit earlier. Here comes the first pitch. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. I like that curveball right there. You know he's sitting fastball. He wants to ambush one, jump it right out of the yard. He dropped the curveball on him. Got an 0-1 count. Oh one. here's the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. I don't know what he was looking for right there, but man, he got a piece of that changeup and was able to foul it off. But that's a ball sitting right there for him to hit, and he was late with it. So I don't know what he's looking for. Looking for something harder, probably. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you could tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes ball. in. Ball two. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Oh, they pulled a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Now batting. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And they got him. I think he was going first pitch, first movement all the way, and apparently the pitcher knew it, too, caught him leaning. Striding in once again, Derek Norris. Last time through was a base hit. Derek Norris. He's set and the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Jeanette is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One left for San Diego. Five innings complete, all tied 3-3. Three, three. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Sparky, no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Right here, he's looking to get himself into a good hitter's count so he can take a rip and maybe give his team the lead. He certainly has the power. 
shot toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, that base hit right there extends his streak to nine games. Now, we've been watching him. That's a couple series now. He's starting to swing the bat. you got to start paying attention to this guy. He's getting hot. The right fielder, number five. Here's Cargo, Carlos, Carlos Gonzalez. Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a miss, and Gonzalez is down on strikes for the first out. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Ready once again, Justin Bohr. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this first one. Baseman, Justin Bohr. Three and one, here it is. Runners Three. off for second. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. He picked a good pitch to run on at that time, and it really paid off. A changeup down to the zone is a really tough pitch for the guy behind the plate to catch and throw on, so he didn't stand much of a chance there. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hold high in the air out to right field. Kemp is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So digging in now, Luis now batting, Avalos, shortstop. one for two on his Luis line so far in Avalos. the game. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. High pop up. Solarte is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Colorado. On to the bottom of inning number six, tied three apiece. Coming to the plate now, Derek Norris. Now he enters this Catcher. at bat, one for Derek two with a walk. Norris. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. A one pitch on its way. And this one gets away. I got the count. Oh, and two. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, this is one of those good news, bad news situations. The good news is you fooled the hitter and he swings through the pitch. The bad news is the pitch wasn't even in the same zip code as the strike zone, and it goes as a wild pitch. Digging in and looking for more. Sparky, he singled his last Sparky. time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the bat. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old, old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in. See if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Digging in once again, Derek Norris. The a winning run is at three. first base. Derek Norris.
Here's the first pitch. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. And he'll get there at third. And now the winning run's only 90 feet away with just one out. Digging in the switch hitter, Sparky. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Uh, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt, but if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here for out number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Nothing across here this half of the inning, so one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied 5-5. Five to five. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. Well, he certainly was a very tough out out there in this the one, guys. You see all the hits, tonight, and he lost one over the wall for a home run. He, he was the difference here, hits. no doubt about it.
Your attention, Dizzy please. McGee now takes the ball the now in inning number nine, number looking 21, to close the door. Dizzy McGee. Ready once again, Rich, Douglas, and these guys are making a little baseman, push here. You have to like the effort despite Rich the odds. Douglas. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at-bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at-bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Two out, bases loaded. All two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot.
Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Mariners make it six straight victories now as this one is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row. And this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. 4 nothing to score tonight. Seattle secured their 10th victory of the season. Casey Carrasco takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Daniel Norris struck out 10 in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Pleszak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation Seattle of MLB Mariner. The Show. Four for more, follow us on Twitter hits. at MLB One The error. Show. They left five men on base. For the Tigers, no runs, nine hits.